July 13, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day 506 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine continues making constant incursions against a massive conscript army that doesn't want to die just to prove they don't want to be in Ukraine. Around Zaporizhia the Russians continue to lose supplies, machines, and men to Ukraine's offensive successes. In the north the Russians are being ordered to attack into well-prepared and well-defended Ukrainian positions, causing outsized losses to Russian divisions for minor gains. Dnieper Line The Kremlin fired 76 shells across the Dnieper into mostly civilian areas. Ukraine continues to run patrols across the Dnieper, where Russian drones are making movement very difficult to hide on an open river. Zaporizhia Front So far, any Russian advances ordered here have either not started or have been halted immediately by the Ukrainian defenders. Ukraine continues to shell tactical depots and destroy Russian logistics operations keeping the Kremlin's frontline troops from rotating or even having dinner many nights. East Front, Donetsk The Kremlin ordered heavy assaults in this area, with fighting in Mariikna and on both sides of Avdiivka. Russian forces attack deeper into the line of contact at the villages of Pervomaist, which sit at the strategic fork of the Pishchana and Vodiana rivers. These rivers flow into the suburbs of Donetsk on the north and south, and while normally slow and small flowing, can present challenges and natural tactical ground features. Bakhmut area. Ukraine recorded a large advance around the village of Andivka, where the canal south of Bakhmut runs along the edge of a ridge. In addition to gains yesterday, Ukraine has pushed nearly 10 kilometers in the last 20 days of difficult fighting in this region. As a secondary front for Ukraine, these troops have been achieving much, with limited supply. Oskol border front. The Kremlin again chose to attack downhill around the town of Torsk in what is effectively farmed valley with Bokage. Torsk sits at the south end of a series of reservias in the middle of a long valley. On the north of these reservias, not too far up the valley about 10 kilometers away at the town of Novosadov, the Russians again attacked in what appears to be an attempt to isolate any Ukrainian troops on the east side of the water. Northern border. It has not yet been confirmed that the convoy that was headed north has entered Belarus. The Russian Air Force launched an airstrike into the Sumy Oblast and shelling continued in numerous towns and villages in Putin's attempt to kill things that make him uncomfortable. Black Sea. The Russian Navy is warning mariners that there are loose mines floating around the mouth of the Dnieper and Ukrainian ports. Perhaps unrelated, Ukraine has completed training on a donated British mine hunting ship. Ukraine World Related. The Kremlin is still trying to sort out how to admit Wagner's rebellion happened without admitting anything is wrong. An image of Prigozhin in a Spartan tent looking disheveled on the edge of a cot suggests that is with the Wagner forces in Belarus, while Putin is on record returning to the obfuscation comments that there is no law allowing groups like Wagner, thus they do not exist. The Russians are developing more advanced anti-drone technologies, possibly creating conditions which will put current drone tactics by Ukraine at risk. Pakistan may be preparing to send arms and munitions to Ukraine, as that country is looking to grow its industrial capacity in the production of weapons. Turkey's president has said that Putin has agreed to continue the grain deal. The US Congress appears to have slated $300 million for Ukraine for the 2024 budget. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.